What is going on? JP here from Sound Engine Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to feed Logic Pro into OBS. And the first thing that the first thing that you're going to need to do is download an audio plugin called I Show You, and you're going to need this. So go to Google, download I, the letter I, S H O W, and then U. You can actually see it on the screen on the uh, the audio devices. And the next thing that we're gonna have to do after you download that plugin is configure the audio settings in your audio devices. Now, to get to your audio devices, if you're not sure how to do that, you're gonna click on the little magnifying glass on the top of your screen, and you're gonna type in MIDI, M-I-D-I. -I. And the first item that's gonna populate will be your audio devices. So click on that, and this will open up. I just lost one of my, oh, I just lost logic. Let's pull that back up again. There we go. All right. Okay. So your audio devices uh, have populated and I have a multi output device right here. If you do not have that, you're going to create it by clicking on this plus symbol and you're going to create a new multi output device and when you do that all these sound devices will populate and you will click on the first item that you will click on will be your audio interface mine is M, M audio yours might be focus right universal audio so whatever that interface is click on that first and then you're gonna click on what you just downloaded I show you all right, and we have just configured our new, our multi-output device. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to Logic. All right, and we're gonna go to our preferences, our audio. <clears throat> our audio device is gonna be our multi-output device. Or whatever you named it, if you renamed it anything, it's going to be the, the new multi-output device. And our input device is going to be our interface. Focusrite, Universal Audio, M-Audio, PreSonus. Uh, so whatever you have, that is going to be your input device. All right, we are almost there. We are almost there. Uh, and now we have to head over to OBS. Let's head over to OBS. And you need to find your desktop audio, which that should already be loaded. It's one of the one of the default items that pops up when you install and open up OBS is your desktop audio. <clears throat> and let me open this up and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is your desktop audio. And you're going to click on uh, the uh, the systems, right? That the preferences. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to going to go to properties. All right. So you're going to click on right the settings, and then open up the properties, and then click on I show you. So you're going to configure this device as the I show you audio capture device. Got it? And then you should be good to go. So as of right, as of right now, this is these are all my settings. So I, I am running Logic into OBS. Yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions or comments or anything, please, uh, if you can write those in the comment section below. Be sure to like and subscribe so I can continue to create content like this. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. JP, Sound Engine Studios, out.